If you happen to be in Butte for the next couple of days, you will likely see the phrase Max Strong showing up all across the town. It came about two months ago when Butte High freshman Max Damaris began the toughest journey of his life. But as MTN's Don Tibbet shows us now, Max had plenty of company along the way. Behind me is Naranchi Stadium, a symbol in the Butte community and a dream for many of the athletes who get to step on the field and play under the lights in front of the whole town. But for one Butte High freshman, that dream had to take a sudden pause as he battled a serious medical emergency. Max was getting ready for the upcoming 2018 football season, but after a regular school physical prompted a trip to an eye specialist, Max and his family would soon learn that their situation was much more serious. At first we were told that he had a hole in his macula, and that's why he was blind in his right eye. So we were expecting to go to the appointment and have him set up a surgery. But sadly, it wouldn't be that easy for Max. He needed to have an emergency MRI to see if there was a tumor behind his eye. So he said it might take a while to get the results back, and I just begged him to let us know as soon as possible if he could just call me so that we didn't have to wait the weekend. And then the call came in. Max had optic nerve glioma, a slow-growing brain tumor that arises in or around the optic nerve. He just said, well, we did find a tumor, and I just, I lost it. <laughs> I, I lost my mind. But in the family's darkest hour, it was Max who shined a beacon of strength in the toughest time of his young life. And I just remember he wrapped his arms around me and said, Mom, stop crying. It's fine. Uh, I'm okay. Let's just go in the bookstore and get this done, and we'll come back tomorrow and figure out how to, how to treat it. Max and the Damaris family were referred to the John A. Moran Eye Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's where they'd learn the next steps in Max's recovery. We would have to work with a team of doctors at the Huntsman Cancer Institute down there. They wanted us to start radiation right away. Starting on September 10th, over the next six weeks, Max received radiation treatments five times a week. But Max found ways to keep himself in good spirits. My PS4 did in Fortnite. I really liked that game, but also the texts I got from my friends just kind of kept me away and just hanging out with my friends and my family. That kind of just took my mind off what was going to happen. And as Max fought in Salt Lake City, back in Butte, the community lent a helping hand to the family. Super, super humbling. I just can't believe the, the amount of people that were just willing to do whatever. It was yeah. just amazing. They did GoFundMe pages and sold t-shirts and bracelets and they had a three-on-three -three basketball tournament that they put together in a week. I mean, I'm so thankful. I am very thankful for everybody that helped me and all my friends and coaches and family and people I didn't even know who just reached out to me. Max has regained 20-70 vision in the top of his right eye and offers some advice for anyone fighting a similar battle. Just to stay positive throughout the whole thing and just fight. Dominic tells us that Max continues to fight. He heads in for another MRI in January. They'll see if that tumor has shrunk. Until then, he'll continue to cheer for his beloved Bobcats this weekend.